Now let's take a look at some tips and tricks that can help you to create a high quality tutorial. First, optimize the interface for your audience. Clean UI equals clear teaching. You can start by setting the Houdini UI scale to 1.25 for larger text and icons. If you're using a high resolution monitor such as 4K, you can also scale up the UI to 1.5 times. Then you can simplify your UI to minimum panes. Usually I have the viewport, parameters, and the network view. Maximize space for panes and parameters used the most for your tutorial. Use a dark gray viewport background for contrast. This works great for particles and volumes. You can also keep a second Houdini session open as a reference to quickly verify your parameters and node tree. Let's now take a look at quick example on how to set these up. As you can see, I have a clean Houdini here and you can start by increasing the UI scale of your viewport and icons as well as text. So we can go to edit preferences, general user interface. And in here, you can increase the global UI scale. So usually I set it to 1.25 whenever I'm recording a tutorial. However, if you have a 4K monitor or any other high resolution monitor, you can set it to 1.5 or higher. You can see the icons and the text would be much more readable during the recording. All right, let's set it back to 1.25, accept, and uh, we will need to restart Houdini to see the changes. All right, so now you can see all the icons and text and the UI in general got bigger and it is much more readable. All right, so for the next steps, I usually like to readjust the parameter view and give myself a little bit more space in the network view. So let's drop down something so we can work with. I'm going to click on soft pyro and I'm just going to click on the thruster exhaust. So click once and then you're going to see this bounding box and then press enter to drop it down in the viewport. All right, so it will drop down a thruster recipe that would help us to uh, adjust the UI further. So you can see whenever you get uh, something in your network, especially more than one node, uh, everything can get quite tight, especially in the network view, but also in the parameters. So you can see you have to scroll down and you, can, you need to find specific things. So usually what I like to do is close the parameters pane. So you can just click on this little arrow in between, click up, and then you have much more space in your network and to get the parameters back, you can just press P on your keyboard and it will open up the parameters on the side. And you can also scale it uh, up or down as you need. So if in case your network gets bigger, you don't have to worry about it being too tight. All right, the other thing I like to do is to close everything I don't need. So for example, if I use something from the shelf and I don't need it anymore, I can just close it up. Alternatively, you can also play with some UI presets that are available on this top menu. So if you click on the build, you would see some presets here. So for example, if you are teaching lighting and rendering or look development, you can start with the Solaris and then you can drop uh, material look dev for example so click and then you have everything ready in here so you can access everything you need in Solaris and start rendering right away all right so this is a, a pretty handy setup in here okay let's stop the render uh, and then alternatively if you would like to animate you can click on the animate reset so it will change it up so now you can see that you have your graph editor 
and then you have your side view and perspective view as well as your parameters on the side but you can also reorganize this as needed uh, one of my favorite ones is the technical wide so if i click here you would see that uh, my parameters would be nicely docked on the side um, and I will just close everything that I don't need. So let's close the shelf tool. Let's close the tree view. And I'm going to go inside of this thruster exhaust. So sometimes when you are working or teaching uh, different things in Houdini, you might want to have instant access to different attributes. And let's select this uh, particle trail. Um, so for example in this technical wide you have access to the geometry spreadsheet right away so if you just click on this little uh, up arrow it will open up the another pane with the geometry spreadsheet and then you can close the python shell and now you have a very similar ui with parameters on the side more space in your network view and you also have your geometry spread spreadsheet docked on the bottom and this is all could be found in the technical wide uh, lastly what i usually like to do is to change the viewport background color to dark gray uh, this will give us a much better contrast especially when you're working with volumes or particles so with your mouse in the viewport press d and then you can go to background and in the color scheme you can change this to dark gray so now you can see the thruster is much more readable once you have created a ui preset for recording which is customized to your needs you can always save it as a custom desktop uh, so for example this one i'm going to go and save current desktop as I'm going to call it my technical wide save and it will be saved okay so now we can go back to uh, technical wide and then there is this one in here uh, it will reset your uh, background color uh, but it will keep all the layout uh, just like you have set it so let's close Houdini and I'm going to demonstrate why this could be handy I'm just gonna close this okay so we're back in Houdini I'm going to quickly drop down the shelf here faster and uh, you can see we start in build and if I go to technical wide, it will give me again these uh, panes that I don't need. But if I now go to my technical wide, you can see that the shelf is closed. I have my geometry spreadsheet right on the bottom. And the only thing I need is to change the background really. So I can press D, go to background and change this to dark gray. To make the tutorial recording process much nicer and smoother for yourself and for the audience, what I also recommend is to have a second Houdini session running with your full scene build up and uh, your parameters ready to replicate. So for example, if I would build a custom thruster effect uh, from scratch, so let's just delete it. So I remember that I started from a circle. I'm gonna press tab in here, circle, and then uh, and then I have to think what node I created next, what were the parameters, and so on, right? So this can slow you down, it can uh, create some pauses, awkward moments. But if you have your uh, second Houdini session running, let's say on your second screen on, on, or on the side of your screen, or even just for your reference, so you can pause your recording and then go back to it, uh, this will make the process much more streamlined. So in here you can see I have the full setup. I know that my circle has 32 divisions. And then next I have to drop down another pyro exhaust. And I have the settings right here. So 
this will generally speed up the process. It will make your recording much more streamlined and um, overall the process would be much smoother and faster for you and uh, also for the audience to watch this.